But is this the best thing we tried the whole day? Who knows? Find out soon in our conclusion. Welcome to episode 2 of Food Finder Season 4 and today we're gonna find the best neighborhood Thai food in Singapore! I have the help of Gary because his wife is Thai and I assume he eats a lot of Thai food. That's racist. I've had my fair share of Thai food. Special thing today, we're a little challenge we got going on. So we're gonna try to see who can drink the least amount of liquid. The loser of that is gonna have to eat this. Let's check out the first place. We're gonna have Mukata right over there. So we're here at Amokyo Avenue 1. So in this coffee shop, there's actually a few other Thai stalls. But the stall that we're trying is Phuket Town Mukata. And the first dish we're gonna do is the Mega Meat Mountain. Mountain! We're gonna get them gains! From the top, green curry. Tom yum pork collar on the second layer. Tom yum pork collar. Black pepper, Black pepper chicken, chicken. Garlic pork collar. Garlic pork Sesame collar. Sesame chicken and signature pork belly. Oh, oh, How many people do you think this can feed? This for about three to five packs. There's two of us and there is still a seafood platter. This looks spicy. Oh. Let's eat this while it's cooking. Tom yum noodle. Tom yum kung. Like the amount of eggs they add. I think they added to the... Thickness. Thickness, consistency. Right. Oh, it's so thick though, it's almost like a gravy. Nude. Oh. oh. <laughs> really limey though. I feel like it's sweet. This is like the extra version of that uh this 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 noodle. That's good. I am thirsty. This weirdly looks like fried curry cake. Oh, sauce, sauce. Sauce. You want sauce? Okay, okay Gary's, okay, Gary's sauce. gonna get sauce. Minced pork with the fish paste and egg. It's good. Should we work on the seafood ladder? Oh, this looks hella spicy, man. I mean, I tried to scrape away some chili, but it's still. I'm going for the scallop. It looks a lot spicier than it is. It's not that spicy. It's pretty nice. It's like springy. It's not like overcooked or like rubbery. The seafood platter is all the different seafood, but one flavor across the whole yeah. board. What will be really good with this is some ice cold beer. Okay, yeah. we'll do the okay, special let's try the pork belly. signature pork belly. How's the meat? How's the chicken? It's got like thick chunks of black pepper. I like the marinade. I, I like the variety and the sheer volume. It's good value for money. Let's try the pork belly. Oh, kind of sweet, actually. Sweet marinade to it. Not exactly sure what type of sweet marinade, but it is sweet. I don't know what type of meat this is, but maybe we'll find out after I eat it. Garlic pork. You can taste the garlic in it. It's a lot heavier, like the seasoning. But you know what that makes me? Thirsty. I'm gonna consume one sip. Green curry chicken sounds really unique. Though. It tastes like green curry, like a hint of it. It's like a herb. Like the herb. The, like herb. the herb flavor? Yeah, the herb of the green curry. What 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 makes green curry green? How do you find this mukata? For a neighborhood stop like this, if I am looking for a place to just chill with friends, have a drink, have good food, this is definitely something to consider for sure. There, there are a lot of like value for money mukatas around. But I have to say, like so far, this this is actually one of the better ones. I think what is great about this mukata than the normal ones is that they give a <laughs> lot more variation. Two different types of meats, six different flavors. And that's it for Phuket Town Mukata. Let's move off to the next spot. Water. <laughs> I need water. Rain. So we are here at the next location, Hao Kang Avenue 1 at Charang Thai. There was like great Thai food, generous portion sizes, affordable prices. So this is recommended by the residents in Hao Kang. Let's go find out how good their Thai food is. Green curry. Yo, ma. Sorry. Are you Thai? Thai. Oh, oh so they come. Uh, they come. So very authentic. He's yeah. Thai. <laughs> so he is Thai. Yeah, okay. We want the prawn cake also. Prawn cake. You can see I have no idea what he's writing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So food is here from uh, Charan. Charan. So is this pork or chicken or? Chicken. Green curry is okay. always chicken. Prawn, clay pot, vermicelli. Lab. 
l a p l a p m u l a p or l a p m u I know m u is like pork. What does l a p stand for? It's like this grounded rice, like roasted rice okay. that's added to this. So this is actually considered a salad dish. Then we have prawn cake. So let's dig in. I'm gonna try this. l a p l a p m u salad thing. This should be. It's supposed to be spicy, right? Yeah, I can spicy. see like the chili. Yeah. There's a lot of fish sauce. Mm. It's not salty, it's spicy. The spiciness coming at the back. That's good. That's decent l a p There are little granules of uh, roasted rice that's been right. ground up to create the l a p texture. l a p is usually really spicy. This is okay. It's not spicy, but it's really good. Though. Is it minced prawn? I mean, the the prawn taste is there, but I don't really get that prawn texture. I love the m a c h a l e This is very typical Chinese Thai. Um, They give a fair bit of prawn. Okay, okay, okay. I'm better. I'm better. I'm better not to. This is how you know it's authentic Thai. This is uh, coriander root. So okay. in Thai cooking, coriander root is like one of their main like ingredients. Uh, ingredients. You know, like every cooking, they got like the trifecta, right? Like Italian uh, is like I don't know, uh, olive oil, salt, and <laughs> pepper or something like that. Thai cooking is apparently coriander. this coriander root, black pepper, and garlic. I mean, I only know that because my wife told me. This is a lot more Chinese tasting. The coriander fragrance is is really prominent. Not not as salty as I thought it would be. All right, green curry. Oh, this is good though. Good green curry. I like this green curry texture. The, the consistency. Yes, it's a bit more thicker. Favorite dish right now. I'm a toss between the green curry and the l a m Okay. Okay. I like one. I want to take a sip and then I remember. It's like it's not spicy. It's just like thirsty. Yeah, just like thirsty. Let's each take a sip. You know, call it even. Deal. <laughs> She's marking it down. The producer writing down how many sips we took. Any final thoughts on this place? Authentic. They got some options that you wouldn't normally find yeah. in just any standard. Like normal Thai, Thai restaurants, you wouldn't find like you know the lap mu. That's it for c h a r a n We're gonna move off to the next Thai restaurant. Hopefully, it's better. Boom! Mm, like, prawn cake. Like that. I was imagining like when I do this, like a prawn cake like here. You have no power here. And we're here at Lemongrass, family-friendly Thai food place. It's located in the neighborhood in Upper Serangoon View. It's also halal, and this is recommended by our producer. Let's go check it out. Tom yum. Tom yum. Tom yum. Yeah, you can't say okay. tom yum. Can't say tom. No, that's wrong. apparently very wrong. Very wrong. <laughs> Thai like, wife would kill me. You know what? I, let's ask for recommendations. Yes. Just so happens the owner is here. Pro. So some recommendations. Uh, I'll like recommend the Ong Lai Seafood Hot Pot. The most unique thing about this dish is the sauce itself. It's a soup. Cum sauce. We are really famous for our fish here. So steam whole sea bass with green sauce. The masaman curry that we have introduced uh, during the Ramadan month. A oh. dish that's not very commonly served in most Thai restaurants. Mm. Mm. Sounds great. And can we get one cup of Thai milk tea? Just one. Just, Just one. one. The Ong Lai hot pot. Let's go ahead and try the food. In this Ong Lai hot pot, there is fish, squid, prawns. Is it Kang Kong? Okay, it's Kang Kong. That one can easily feed This four. Is, I think I think it is meant for four. It is meant for four, right? Yeah. Oh, you got the female muscles. Oh, the white ones, like the, oh, fun fact. Yeah, fun fact. Fun fact. Yeah, we shared a fun fact. Fun fact. Oh. Try the thing first. So mussels, if you get the white color ones, these are the male, and then if you get the ones that are like the orangey color ones, those are like the females. Ooh, okay, this kind of works. Nice. Pineapple It's is... tom yummy and that hint of sweetness. Yeah, the sweet the pineapple. That's good. Okay, that's surprising. <laughs> Oh, need a drink? No. Need a sip? No, no, no. It, it, it's really um, comforting. It's like instant noodles. I love instant noodles. I love tom yum instant noodles. But this is like the generous version with vegetables and with fish and seafood. I like the touch of the pineapple. It's different. The hot pot is like super comforting. On a rainy, cold day like today, this is what you want. Uh, let's break down this pineapple fried rice. Okay, okay. It's not like super spicy. p i n e a p p l e rice is good. It tastes pretty authentic. It's got all the cashews. It's got all the raisins. It's got a little bit of egg. I really like this as a kid. You know, my family would want to eat Thai, but you know, as a kid, you can't take spicy. I still can't take that much spicy. So I always end up with p i n e a p p l e rice. m u s c l e m curry is surprising. It tastes like Thai food, but it has that hint of like Indian. It feels Malaysian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got that. It, hint it does of... feel like Malay curry. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, fish. Mmm, good. Steam, moist, 
succulent, very fresh. The green sauce is not overpoweringly spicy either. It's more on the sweeter side though. My wife would tend to be more on the sour, spicy yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually prefer it sour and spicy. Ah. Get that libido up. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, what is stuffed with? Chicken? Stuffed with more chicken? I like chicken wing lollipops. Like, they just yep. make it easy mm -hmm. for you to... I'm gonna take my first sip here. Do you have a favorite? The seafood pot. I really like the seafood pot. This is the first time I've seen it works. the pineapple works. mix with yep. the dom yum flavor. My favorite is the masaman curry. It's honestly got a good fusion taste. It's still Thai, but it's that little touch of Malay Indian curry. I mean, if you told me this was like Malay curry, I would be like, oh, okay. I wouldn't believe that I, as well. I, Can I say something controversial? I have this thing where like, if it's Muslim friendly, like Asian food, I tend to think it's not usually not as good. good. That's a known thing, right? My point <laughs> is... It is pretty good for a Muslim yeah, like this is gonna be like a Thai tasting place. Yeah, that's it for lemongrass. We're gonna move off to the next Thai restaurant and transition. Shot tomate. He took a sip. Yo. I totally forgot. Yo, yo, yo. We got, we got to record this. That's a sip. That's a sip. Yeah, yeah. Gary, Gary took a sip after we cut. At the final spot, we have this place called Pong Chechev. It is located in the industrial area. Honestly, you wouldn't be able to find it unless you actually know to come here. Okay, this looks the most legit so far. Yes, I'm very impressed with the quality in which it looks. If you go to a street stall in Thailand, this is what it'll look like. I think earlier you were saying like coriander root. Is this coriander root? Coriander root. Start with the I want to try this rice. first. Yeah, 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 yeah try the so rice. I got the rice. I love the color on the, on the skin. Like Ooh. it looks really dark. That's usually a good thing. It's not as salty as it looks. Very, very tender. I don't know, man. I'm like so dehydrated. <laughs> Try some of this. <laughs> this just might be the spiciest thing today. This is a legit Thai chili. Thai lap chong. I've never had Thai lap chong. It's got the texture of the lap chong, but it's not as hard. It's like a bakwa. It's a fusion sausage with bakwa. The signature dish here, kuei chap. Usually Thai kuei chap is like clear. This, this seems to be like a little bit of a mix. Hokkien. I like this kuei chap a lot more than regular kuei chap. Normal kuei chap has a lot of the off offals. I'm not a huge fan of the offals. This one. <laughs> the chili is interesting though. It's like a slight fusion between the traditional kuei chap chili, but not really, but like a bit sweeter. This is really good. Very surprising. Normal traditional Thai flavors, like the sweet, sour, spicy. This is like not that. It's a lot more savory in general. Braised pig trot right? This is probably one of the better ones I've had. I'm really full though. Oh no, Gary, look there. Uh, ice cold beer. How do you feel? How do you feel about this? To me, it's A class. Like, it's it's really solid. This is like the definition of a hidden find. I think the, the pig trotter is really good. Pig fat, like the skin. Sometimes you go to certain places and their sauce is like like this, like the quakes up. But this one is like gelatinous -y. Clings to the rice a bit better. Yeah, but we just really thirsty. Especially like looking at the uh, wavy drinks at the other side. Damn, I would love some of that. You will not have the drink, sorry. Cringe-worthy content in three, two, one. But is this the best thing we tried the whole day? Who knows? Find out soon in our conclusion. So we've come to the, <laughs> the end of today's episode. We have to pick the best neighborhood Thai stall. One, two, Tree. Bong Bong Chichir. Chichir. Oh my god. But runner up, I would say like Bukit Town, Mukata was really decent. My runner up is lemongrass. Lemongrass, okay. Yeah, okay. lemongrass is good. Alright, alright, okay. alright. Producers okay, got okay, sip okay. counts now. Who took the most sips? Gary had four. Gary had four sips. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Moment of truth. One bite. One okay, bite? at least okay. half. At least I'll half. give you like half. Okay, I'll give it to you half. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. From our boys to men serving to all right, do we have anything else to say? Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. Peace. Ah, God damn it. What? Good job, man. Good job, mate.